la 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 la. How do you start a video? Do, 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 do. It's Jess. Oh, that was cringy. Okay. Hi everyone. My name is Jess. I am a avid crafter. I crochet, water paint, um, bit of sewing, and clay. It's pretty much what I do. Um, but I'll try anything, so you know. Um, I am a mum of two under two, as you can see by the background. We are in their playroom. Give you a quick little span of their room. My mum and husband helped me kit out this whole room in a jungle theme for the kids. Um, I have always thought when I was younger that I would have an amazing craft room, you know, it would be all kitted out and all lovely. And then I had kids and realized that a craft room is not practical. So I changed my whole plan and ended up moving kind of like a craft station into the playroom, which I have finally just finished doing. So I thought I would give a little tour. So stick around if that's what you want to see. Big reveal. Three, two, one. This is my little craft station. It's definitely not as flash or as fancy as some other people's, but it works for me and my family as I can crochet or paint or do whatever I want while the kids play in the same room. So my favorite part of the craft station by far would be the pegboard. I got the board and all the little cups from Ikea and I tried to put things up here that I would use on the daily or really regularly. So starting up the top I've just got little photos of my family and uh, these are my watercolor paintbrushes, scissors, rulers, um, knives, things like that, my box of hooks, um, over here double sided tape and headphones and washi tape, another little photo of my family, um, tape measure and I also got these rings that I like to use as gifts like I'll crochet uh, onto them so they can hang up or be a little like teething rings um, so they're up there then I have my wads of pencils and pens um, I picked up this little book from Ikea uh, I thought it would match like the little jungle theme and that I should try and keep that going over the craft station up here on this little shelf I have my darning needles uh, hand sanitizer tic tacs these are really cool. They're like little um, press-in stamps um, that I've been using for clay projects. And then a fake plant um, down here. I have these for the first little shoes I ever made a pattern for. So I thought they were nice little inspiration up there. I have bells and googly eyeballs, um, buttons and um, obviously needles. Uh, tea because I have a problem and I drink way too much tea uh, candle this is an Ikea one but it smells amazing um, my yarn bowl then I always keep my diary up here uh, it's a bullet um, diary so I write it all up myself but I literally live from this book without it I would fall apart uh, my laptop and then I have a stand for my phone. And then this cute little thing uh, holds my stitch markers and safety pins. Uh, whenever I do a gift or um, something f to sell from Just Your Average Crochet, I safety pin like a little thank you note onto them. So that's why I have so many of those. This is my lucky little dinosaur. And then some fake flowers, because who doesn't love fake flowers? Um, then up here I just have a little daily thing that is kind of what craft I'm going to do that day. So yesterday I finished off a gruffalo and today I've been working on some bunting. Um, I don't include anything uh, personal like work or anything like that on here. I have a different calendar for that. So this is like only craft stuff I put up here. Then down here is like our little Google Home. In this box I put stuffing in. I have big bags of stuffing in my cupboard but I just like to have like a little box of it on hand so I can easily stuff as I'm going. Um, then I have this jar which I fill up with um, like yarn that isn't quite enough to make a whole project on. I just chuck it all in here so then if I'm like making a bear or something like that and I want a bow like I've just got little bits here or there. Um, so yeah that's what I have that for. I'm a big Star Wars fan so there's my porg. <laughs> this top tray here 
is where I keep all my patterns um, because I don't really need them all all the time so I just open up the lid and pull out whatever pattern I'm using and the next shelf down I have a little bin um, this is a milk heater for my son's bottles um, in this back little box here is where I keep my paint um, and then the bottom one is just power cords and things like that then down here I have a big basket for my like personal work in projects um, which currently is my C2C as you can see that was a lot of C's <laughs> um, in this bottom one I have extra crochet stuff that I don't use on the daily like um, pom-pom makers and those sorts of things um, on the side here I also have my looms because they don't fit in anything so I know what you all really come to see is the yarn storage because that's what we all love to look at right or is that just me like I'm obsessed with just staring at other people's yarn storage and how much they have oh it's so pretty but anyway get it together Jess um so this is how I've done it these little pink tubs are from Kmart and the white one I got years ago from Kmart but they don't have them anymore which I was devastated because I feel like they're a bit bigger than the pink ones so I like that but you know, they don't make them anymore, so I'll just have a little cry about it. I know a lot of people who organize their yarn in colors. So they'll have all their yellow ones in one tub and all the blue ones in another tub. And I feel like that looks so pretty, but I would need so many tubs because I have so many different colors, even though it looks like I have a lot of pink, but the pink's all just at the front. Um, and I feel like I would struggle finding like the yarn I want. So instead I organize mine into types of yarn so up the top here in this one I have my little yarn so the really skinny like four ply one um, that I use for normally making stuffed animals hence why there's a lot of creams and things like that up the back and so I put them all into that size and then did it by color so I can really easily be like what size do I need and what color and then I just continued that for all the ones down so this one's BK ones like the medium thickness and then the bottom one is the same thickness, but it's all the fuzzy ones I have. Over here is my big jumbo ones. And then this one's like multicolored cake ones, because I feel like you only grab them when you're specifically looking for them. Then as anyone who would know from my uh, Instagram, I also have this little footstool, um, which is also full of yarn. This is really like unique yarn that I put in here that again I would only be after at a particular time so either my really jumbo ones or like these kind of ones or almost like woolly ones I put in here because I don't really use them that often um, and the lid just goes on and can easily hide how much yarn I have from the husband. If I go around here just to the side of the table I have this big basket which I put any projects in that are for sale or are gifts so I put them all into individual bags with the yarn in there um, that I need as I'm working through them um, so that when it's done it's all in the bag and ready to be posted or wrapped and then lastly I have these three drawers um, they're all magnet locked just to stop my daughter going through them she knows not to play with my yarn she won't ever crawl back up there and play with anything there or never has gone through any of those boxes but she is a sucker for drawers as soon as something has a handle she just wants to open it and pull everything out or put other stuff in there I don't know why so they're all magnet locked and I just keep the magnet attached up here Oh, let's see if I can do this one-handed. Oh, look at me go. So in this top drawer is where I have extra paper for my bullet journal or books to write notes. Um, I have my little printer for photos that do up photos like this one up here. Um, and I have a label maker and this is my little headlamp that if you follow me on Instagram you would see me sometimes crocheting with that on because I'm so cool oh, close that again so. so the next drawer 
has got my clay stuff in this box and this one is like extra things like tape or velcro because um, I make quite a few little games and things for my daughter with velcro um, stapler hole puncher those kinds of things and in the bottom one here is where I keep my camera and stands and lights for any of my photos or videos and obviously I have a little stool um, which is like a standing stool because this table is like a standing height um, and you can always make it higher with this little crank if you're a bit taller I'm quite short so that's really as high as I can make it <laughs> and this little rug just to protect the carpet from the stool legs I think was from Adair is that how you say it I'm not sure um, but I thought it kind of matched the theme of the room I don't know does it remind you of a lion it kind of reminds me of a lion um, so that's where I have that and that is my crochet station So that's my craft station. I know you're probably thinking like, oh Jess, you said you sewed and did other stuff. Where's all that? And I keep all that in the cupboard. Uh, it's not organized yet, so I won't show you that. But if you want to have a look at that in the future when it is ready, let me know and I can show you that. Otherwise, yeah, thanks for watching my first video. And I feel like I'm rambling, but let me know what else you want me to talk about. On my channel and that's about it so bye